I, you know, I think it was a big shock for some of those guys. I think the level of play that Panama came with was a big shock, but um, I thought we settled down and started to play basketball. Um, in the first half, we played a, played a great first half, you know, giving them 14 points in the first quarter, 15 points in the second quarter. Our defense was great, and I just think we had too many turnovers. We threw the ball around, and um, and, and that comes with, you know, being a young team and a team that hasn't been together for so long, but, you know, there's no excuses, and I think there's no excuses for that. But um, we did well, you know, third quarter was, was, a, was a was a tough one. I think that, you know, like I told the guys this morning, I think what hurt us is because, you know, our defense was in front of us the first half, and then in the second half, it, it wasn't in front of us, and we stopped talking, and we stopped relying, we stopped relying on our uh, rules. So we just got to be disciplined. I think that's the biggest thing right now is staying disciplined and, 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 and staying the course. You know, if I'm playing four quarters, you can't play three quarters. We played three quarters great on paper, and, you know, one quarter hurts you, and, and you're down by 20. Okay, so uh, we had an additional t addition to the team today. Alex Kakamo came in last night. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what, what role will he play? You know, he, he's he's not coming in to score 30. We're not coming in to, you know, you know, jump on his back. I think he's coming to add veteran leadership. I think that's the biggest thing we need right now. And uh, to see a guy who can really play the fourth position, who can really play basketball. Right now, we need somebody that, that's a playmaker. And right now, we don't have that. We, you know, we have Richie and we have Dougie and those guys, but they're not playmakers. They need somebody to make plays for them. So uh, it's tough, you know. It, and but you know, like I've told them from day one when I when I landed in Belize, no one's gonna feel sorry for you. So you got to keep playing, you got to keep grinding it out, and you got to keep listening to the rules. I think the biggest thing is do what you've been taught. You know, it's we watched film yesterday, and nothing that nothing beat us that we that surprised us. You know, nobody okay. scored fifty points, thirty points last night. Their highest score was maybe fifteen. 14 points okay. so we know we know what it takes it is just us being disciplined and doing what we're taught and i've said that from day one all right so we we are playing costa rica in a couple of hours mm -hmm. how do you see that going i think it's going well i think the guys are focused in i think that uh it's just the biggest thing for me is trying to break a culture you know i think the guys are a little too relaxed and and for me guys don't understand the sense of urgency and i think that's one thing that i'm trying to bring to these guys is a sense of urgency that you have to be from when you wake up this morning from when you eat breakfast from when you when we sit down and have a meeting from when we get on the bus you have to have a routine where you are locked in a sense of urgency and right now guys you know some guys you know this morning a little lackadaisical smiling joking I and mean, it's no joking matter because uh right yeah. now if you lose you're out and that's the matter of the fact that i told these guys we lose route, but we win. You know, we, we, we balls back in our corner. We have the momentum, and now, you know, we, we have we control our own destiny. So uh, okay. I think that's the biggest thing. Is just it's just seizing the moment, but sense of urgency. Everything counts now. Every possession counts tonight.